Hey everyone, Chaos Prime here, and today we have a video with a bunch of gameplay for Yulan, both in her A0 and her A3 skin, which I will leave towards the end of the video. But at the front of the video, we've got some news regarding the adventure books that we used to get when we first started the game. We've got changes to resonance, and of course, we have the new Gachapon clothing, the premium one that's coming, so we'll be showcasing that as well. But first thing first, the resonance changes. These are coming in 3.0.5, so expect them to hit global at 3.0.5. Why? Because that's just the way it is. Now the resonance that are changing are fortitude and balance. In terms of blessing and DPS, they are not changing, at least for now. Now the fortitude changes are as follows. Keep in mind these are CN values, so they are subject to change for global. However, it does say it reduces damage taken by 25%, increases cleave by 60%, and increases aggro by 800%. This should ensure that no matter how much damage you're putting out, the tanks will always maintain aggro. This is one of the things I was suggesting that they do to maintain aggro on tanks. It's a simple fix. It's something Final Fantasy XIV did. It basically makes it impossible for the tank to lose hate. Now, it also continues to say, reduces damage taken by an additional 20% when playing in a team, which is really good because a tank wants to be able to soak that damage. By attacking a target, you make it vulnerable to an element of your current weapon. So in this situation, it's actually going to be beneficial for a tank to run like a rainbow comp or at least a weapon akin to the actual party setup so they can actually utilize the extra, you know, vulnerability that they're going to be inflicting. And it goes on to say that the target will take additional damage from this element, which is pretty damn sweet. Now, that's all the fortitude changes. We are getting balance changes as well. This one says increases base damage and damage reduction by 5%, increases splits and healing effects by 20%. In a team, game base damage is increased by an additional 35%, and damage reduction is increased by 10%. Now, as you're aware, if I'm not mistaken, off head, this used to be 15% for increased damage, and that's going up to 35%. I think that's pretty sweet. This now makes a balanced team more viable. It's really nice, and I'm quite happy that they're doing this, because at the moment, it was basically DPS or get out. Now, with these changes, because DPS is at 40%, or is it 45%? I think it's 40%. This is bringing it closer to that, but not quite there. So you are still benefiting if you do go full DPS. But the Banners Resident now is actually viable in order to do, which is pretty sweet. But again, you'll have to wait until 3.0.5 before you can even get these changes. Now, the next thing you're seeing on screen is the adventure book. For those of you that have been playing since day one, these are a forgotten long-term memory. Now, there are adding Shiro Matrixes to these. Now, it's unknown if we're going to actually get any new pages. According to what the reports say, if you've completed it already, you're just going to be emailed all the extra rewards that you've already that basically you missed out on and it will go straight to your inbox. I'm kind of hoping they don't do that and they add extra pages and it gives you something to do, right? I really enjoyed this content. It just, it was something I was working towards and clearing out and I kind of wish that they went back to it and added more pages, more sections because it's nice working towards something and getting rewards for achieving a goal. Now, next up, we have the new Gachapon, premium Gachapon item for the female character. It looks decent. It looks okay. Uh, I'm not paying for it. But for those of you that do enjoy it and do like this sort of thing and do have, you know, the disposable income for it, definitely uh, check it out. It, it is nice. You know, if it was about 10, 15 pounds, I would have purchased it. But this is a premium Gachapon, so it's going to be around... 80 to 90 pounds and at that point it's a big big no-no from me but you do you and I, you know if you want it grab it now the next two videos that you're going to see is a proper look at Yolan's character 
and once the camera has finished spanning around it's going to go into the actual combat for Yolan and show you what her A0 looks like and then you'll be able to see the same thing again with A3. Now, I'm going to have timestamps in the video so you can skip between them if you absolutely want to but one thing that's actually really interesting is that they are using Fiona in this comp. Now I couldn't work out what the third class in this was, whether they were having another Frost character there or not, but the two that they were switching between that I could see was Fiona and Yulan, so it does seem that Fiona is going to be an integral part of this comp if this is anything to go by. Well, that's it. Enjoy the footage. I'm not going to talk over it. I'm going to let the video play out and I will see you in the next video. As always, I hope you've enjoyed the content, and if you have, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date with all future content I release. Don't forget I'm streaming on YouTube tomorrow at 7 p.m. Monday, BST, so hopefully I will see a bunch of you there. Well, that's it. Enjoy the rest of the video, and remain legend. Show me, 